Hey you guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to um, jump on today and do a fun little project with you guys um, that I sort of came across this morning using chipboard stickers, which are my absolute favorite. Um, I've always, since I've been um, paper crafting, been using chipboard stickers. I always have to get them um, when I'm purchasing a collection. I have to get multiple <laughs> uh, chipboard packs because they are just my favorite. And yeah, I was playing around today and I wanted to um, show you what I came across. So usually when I make embellishments, I tend to use stickers, ephemera, um, chipboard, whatever pieces I can find. Um, but today I thought I'd show you a easy process of making embellishments just using like your chipboard stickers. And you could also use a couple of little like puffy stickers or bling stickers um, to add to them. And I thought this turned out really fun. So what I've done is I've just made a couple here, which I'll show you. And I've popped them onto like a clear plastic sort of bag that I use to gift all my projects into my pen pals. And that way I'll be able to sort of easily peel them off when I'm ready to uh, stick them onto what I'm creating. So by doing it this way, I've found that I can just take off the embellishments and pop them onto whatever project I want to create, but they're already there and ready for me to use, depending on what I want to make, whether that be a tag flip, a pocket letter, a flip book, an album, anything really, embellishments, memory decks, I can use these. Um, to decorate my project. So I love how these have turned out so far. Um, the sun is shining today, so it inspired me to create these sort of summer themed uh, chipboard embellishments. And I absolutely love how they turned out. So at the moment, I'm just going to grab a puffy sticker and just finish off uh, this embellishment here that I just started working on. I wanted to add something cute to it. And then once you've added these um, to whatever project you're making, you can then also add other little extra bits and pieces depending on what project you're making as you go along. So I think I want to, because I'm going with like a summer sort of tropical theme um might go a watermelon i don't know where to put that watermelon actually it's really pretty color it's like pink and blue i don't know whether maybe to pop it here yeah that's cute So yeah, I'm just layering these onto a bag at the moment so then I can just um, take them off easily when I'm ready to. And I think the colours are so beautiful and I'm sort of using a mix of collections as well. So what I'll do now is I'll just grab um, just a bag and I'll show you how we go about just layering up these chipboard embellishments it can be super easy so before I stick them down to the plastic and I don't stick them down hard either I do everything quite quite loosely and I also don't know what pieces are going to look good so I tend to sort of only just barely touch each piece before I pop it down so stick that there for a sec I think I want to use these 
cute bathers. Um, with these like palm leaves and so I pop that on the piece that I want to um, I need a word sticker I think I like sun swim fun it might be a little bit small but I uh, see I think that will make a really cute embellishment so I barely touch touch it just in case I don't like it and I want to take something off um, I'm wondering if I want something else in the background something like that so as you can see you're just layering up pieces of chipboard and it makes a cute little embellishment so I'm quite happy with this one already and it's just so simple and easy to do guys like so now I would like to add some fun little like sort of tropical look we got a little ice cream here which we could add there and let's go with some bling stickers um, I love adding bling stickers to my projects they just give it so much color and I'm really enjoying these white sort of colored ones at the moment and I think they could look really cute on this bathing suit Yes, I think that's quite cute. And then we could always do one like over here or something like that. And that's really pretty. So, so that's how easy these embellishments are to make. Like, let's do another one for you guys just so you could see how easy it was for me to just layer up some chipboard. All right, next one, I think. I do have all heart here. I know it's not really going with the theme, but I'm wondering what it would look like if I use one of these, like, are they joined? Like your Polaroid chipboard. with maybe let's go a flower just trying to figure out at this point how I want to go about this embellishment Um, let's go with fun. So now looking at this before I stick it down, I know I want to put maybe 
some other piece on top of this this floral piece here so let's see what we have and it doesn't have to be from that um, collection let me just check See, that's quite cute, that, that camera there. We'll put it sort of on an angle. So just trying to see how that looks there. Not too sure about the fun, so we're not going to use that piece. But I do like this camera and it is sort of still going with the theme of what I'm up looking for so let's just find another word like another chipboard word this one says Friday Saturday Sunday and that kind of covers up the camera there so I'm not going to go with that one do like this chipboard here that says motel I think that's really cute oh look at that I love that I think that is really cute <laughs> so yeah just layering chipboard stickers let's I always put A bling sticker in the middle of my camera or on my wheels it's just something I do and then let's stick another bling sticker there and then I think we need some kind of a puffy sticker or we can leave it like that guys um, let's see what we've got here These hearts are so cute. These little puffy hearts. I think that could look really cute on the camera. No, and we've got this blue one here. That kind of blends in a fair bit. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's really cute. Yep, so I'm happy with that. So there we go, guys. How simple and easy is that to make your own chipboard embellishments? I think they turn out so pretty. Like absolutely gorgeous. Sorry about the glare. But I'm really happy with how these turned out. And then when I want to decorate a project, they're right there for me to grab. So very, very cute. And I think I'm also going to put a little bit of... Um, ribbon or twine through this little uh, chipboard tag here that I used and yeah I think these are going to look great on some um, summer themed projects I could use them to make a tag flip or anything so 
yeah just wanted to jump on and show you guys you know if you have chipboard stickers and you're sort of unsure of what to do with them or you even have leftover ones you could try putting them all together and see what embellishments they create so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll talk to you all again soon thanks for watching bye